In a groundbreaking discovery, paleontologists have recently excavated what could potentially be the largest marine reptile ever found. Greetings, everyone. In today's video, we will be delving into an exciting discovery made by paleontologists. They have recently unearthed what could potentially be the largest marine reptile ever found. A brand new species of ichthyosaur estimated to measure over 25 meters in length. This remarkable find was made by a father-daughter duo and an experienced fossil collector who stumbled upon the jawbones. Through careful analysis, they were able to identify this magnificent creature as Ichthyotetan sevenensis. These ancient bones, which date back 202 million years, represent the final remnants of their kind before the mass extinction event that occurred during the late Triassic period. The incredible discoveries will soon be on display at the Bristol Museum and Art Gallery. So without any further delay, let's dive into our discussion. A team of specialists has determined that the skeletal remains belong to the mandibles of an undiscovered breed of colossal ichthyosaur, a species of ancient sea creature. Calculations indicate that this aquatic behemoth would have measured over 25 meters in length. In May 2020, Justin and Ruby Reynolds a father and daughter duo from Braunton, Devon, made an exciting discovery while combing the shores of Blue Anchor, Somerset for fossils. It was Ruby, who was just 11 years old at the time, who stumbled upon the initial fragment of an enormous jawbone. Fueled by their shared passion, they continued their search and managed to uncover more pieces, marking the second jawbone find in the area. Upon recognizing the importance of their find, they reached out to Dr. Dean Lomax a renowned expert in ichthyosaurs and a paleontologist affiliated with both the University of Manchester and the University of Bristol as a 1851 research fellow. Dr. Lomax in turn made contact with Paul de La Salle, an experienced fossil collector who had previously discovered the initial massive jawbone in May 2016, located farther down the coast at Lilstock. The discovery left Dr. Dean Lomax in a state of awe. In a study conducted in 2018, Dr. Lomax and his team, which included Paul de La Salle, extensively examined and documented the enormous jawbone of Paul. They held on to the hope that another specimen would eventually be unearthed. Their wish was granted when they stumbled upon this new specimen, which is not only more intact, but also better preserved. It is a remarkable find as it provides them with two of these distinctively shaped and structured giant bones, known as serangulars. To say that Dr. Lomax was thrilled would be an understatement. His excitement knew no bounds. Paul, Dr. Lomax, Justin, Ruby and various family members embarked on a collective expedition to the location in search of additional fragments of this extraordinary find. As time progressed, the team successfully unearthed more sections of the identical jaw, seamlessly fitting them together like an ancient puzzle spanning millions of years. Upon discovering the initial two fragments, Ruby and I were filled with immense excitement as we quickly recognized the significance and uniqueness of our find. The moment I stumbled upon the posterior portion of the jaw, a surge of exhilaration coursed through me as I understood the pivotal role it played in Paul's previous breakthrough. In October 2022, the recovery process concluded with the retrieval of the final fragment of bone. Dr. Lomax and his team made a groundbreaking discovery. They unveiled that the jaw bones actually belonged to a previously unknown species of massive ichthyosaur. This incredible creature would have been as colossal as a blue whale in size. By examining two separate instances of the exact same bone, possessing identical distinguishing characteristics from the very same geological era, their conclusions are further reinforced. The newly discovered genus and species, Ichthyotitan sevenensis, has been named by the team signifying its status as a colossal aquatic reptile found in the Severn region. These fossils, dating back approximately 202 million years to the Ratian period at the end of the Triassic era, provide a glimpse into a time when colossal ichthyosaurs ruled the oceans and dinosaurs roamed the land. However, this period marked the end of the Titan's reign, as the geological records above these remains document a catastrophic event known as the Late Triassic Global Mass Extinction. Following this event, the Shastasauridae family of giant ichthyosaurs became extinct, making these bones the final remnants of their kind. 
While ichthyotitan does not hold the title of being the inaugural colossal ichthyosaur, the findings of De La Salle and Reynolds are unparalleled within the realm of scientific knowledge. These two skeletal remains emerge approximately 13 million years subsequent to their most recent geological counterparts, such as Shonisaurus sicaniensis from British Columbia, Canada, and Himalayasaurus tibetensis from Tibet, China. Impressively, Ruby and Justin accurately identified the recent find as a massive ichthyosaur jawbone, noting its resemblance to the one previously described in 2018. Recognising their keen observations, I extended an invitation for them to join my research team and contribute to the study and naming of this remarkable fossil. Without hesitation, they eagerly embraced the opportunity. This experience has transformed Ruby, in particular, into a published scientist who not only unearthed, but also played a role in christening a species of colossal ancient reptile. It is a distinction that few 15-year-olds can claim. We may just be witnessing the emergence of a future Mary Anning. Ruby expressed her excitement at the incredible find of a portion of a massive ichthyosaur. She felt a deep sense of pride in contributing to such a significant scientific discovery. Master's student Marcello Perillo, hailing from the University of Bonn in Germany, conducted additional analyses on the internal structures of the bones. Through his research, he not only verified the ichthyosaur lineage of the bones, but also discovered that the creature was in a phase of growth when it met its demise. In his statement, he expressed that the distinct histological features commonly found in the lower jaws of giant ichthyosaurs were indeed present. The unusual periosteal growth observed in these bones suggests the existence of bone development strategies from the distant past that remain enigmatic to us. These strategies likely enabled late Triassic ichthyosaurs to attain unprecedented sizes, pushing the boundaries of vertebrate dimensions. Although much remains unknown about these colossal creatures, we can gradually uncover their mysteries by studying one fossil at a time. Expressing his elation, Paul de la Salle remarked upon the immense fascination that his discovery of these colossal creatures in 2016 has generated. The initial unearthing of the jawbone was a moment of profound significance, as it hinted at something extraordinary. The subsequent discovery of a second jawbone that affirms our previous findings is nothing short of astonishing. The overwhelming feeling of joy that engulfs me cannot be understated. Today, the open access journal PLOS One has released the newly published research. The discoveries made by Ruby, Justin and Paul are set to be exhibited at the Bristol Museum and Art Gallery in the near future. For nearly eight years, the investigation has been in progress revealing the astonishing fact that enormous ichthyosaurs, comparable in size to blue whales, once roamed the waters near what is now the UK during the Triassic period. The discovery of these jawbones offers a tantalizing glimpse into the possibility of unearthing a complete skull or skeleton of these magnificent creatures. The potential for such a find is truly unpredictable. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.